All right, so just to add to our other collection of videos, really exciting day today here at our house, big family event. We've been growing these for a few years now, and just now, after we built the trellis for the first time, we have our very first dragon fruit flower. I don't know how I missed it. I've been scanning these things almost daily, and I missed it, but it is now almost an inch in diameter, and I'm hoping there's more. I haven't found them yet. I haven't looked, but I had to make this video. Here we go. Okay, so here's the trellis that I made for my two dragon fruits. We overwintered these just by windows over the last winter. They got really stringy, got really thin. Look at some of these even. They do that and then once they get strong sunlight again, boom, they get really large and fat again. So sometimes I cut those off. Sometimes they, they fell over before they would get uh, sturdy. And I had them in sturdy enough pots to allow them to hold themselves up. But here's the main event for us tonight. It's our very first flower. We've never had one before. Like I said, it's about an inch in diameter. I haven't checked for any others just yet, but I don't even remember which variety this is. These are both the same variety of dragon fruit, but just to, just to give you a little bit of reference. It might be a little less, but it's very close to an inch. In diameter and this is the first time I've had them up here on our concrete which I have to admit has to feel like the desert ground whenever uh, our summer Sun is out it's very very hot up here which I assumed these guys would like they've never been up here so maybe it was a part of it just maturing and and uh, being ready to start producing or maybe it's a little bit of both I, I'm not real sure here's the second one I don't really see any any more flower buds on this one. Oh, but I'm so pumped. Let's see. Anything down here? Probably not low. But these are... If you look at me, I'm 5'8 or so. The top of this board is probably... I don't know, right at six foot. So, from pot to extended top, maybe they're got some eight foot or so, seven, eight feet in, in length on a single branch, if you want to call it that. I don't even know what you call them. One thing I was really surprised about with dragon fruits is how strong and how heavy these branches are. They're they're very thick, they're hard to cut, very strong, and covered in thorns. So I don't think you'll break your way out if you ever get snagged. You're just going to make it worse if you try to fight your way out. But yeah, that. Two years in the making. That thing should get up to like a pound. I'm so excited for that. Hopefully we don't pick it too early. If you pick them too early, there's no flavor. But if you wait the right amount of time, they start to get sweet. These actually, this one here that's producing this actually fell over in my son's room. We were moving it back out here this spring and it produced, it didn't produce, it, it, it had a branch that broke off and over here by my avocados, I clipped off the back end of it where it broke off, stuck it in some dirt and it is beginning to grow. So maybe this will turn into another, another big brother to some other babies at some point, but Right now, that's the big story. A dragon fruit. Awesome. <laughs>